All right. We have a ladder. That's an interesting turn of events. I, th I thought I was going to be stuck here, but I just needed to tip the ladder and shoot the rocks out for this one. Now, what's in here? It looks like it was specifically carved out. Oh, is it like someone's private lab? I see a chest. A tie-dye t-shirt. I'll have to keep note of all of these. I Not that I would want that. Oh, that's the last hand symbol. We have all of them. So that means we'll be able to finish this world and hopefully the the other book will bring us to the end of... Wait. Was that one of the Bahro again? Yeah, that's the map of the world. Do I have to sit down here to look at this? No, it looks like those are inaccessible. What is this chamber? Oh, it's a stairway. Am I... It was just a secret door? Hmm. Well, we always have a way back. So let's see what this is. I wonder if any of these will be the key to solving that Path of the Shell puzzle. Wait, another... This has to be one of the prisons in Garrison. Second to last one, too. Oh. A waterfall? Apparently I can't look through that, but yes, this is definitely one of the prison cells. Do they keep maybe two men per room? Why are there these weird bones here? They don't look human. Whoa. This must be one of the, the prison levels? Yeah, that's, that's definitely Garishan outside. What a terrible place. I mean, I suppose one would keep prisoners in horrible places, but... Yeah, green lights. Are there any ways to get up into those, or...? No. How many of these levels are there, and are there any ladders up into these? Wait, what is that? Are those bones? Did... Were people abandoned here? Huh. Well, there's a ladder. That'll be something to definitely look into, but I want to investigate all these other corridors first. Just in case there's something I need to see. It'd be nice if the different cell- oh, there's a blinking light. It'd be nice if the different cell blocks had different colors associated with them. It would make identifying each hallway a lot easier. 
I don't see any hand symbols strewn about quite yet. Is this just here for atmospheric effect? Maybe. None of these bars are broken. This one looks a tad bent though. Did someone try to get out? And this might be the first one I had come down or something to that effect. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll go back to the one with the ladder. Because that has to be my ticket out of here. Yeah, it was right past this one. I think it was the next one over. There we go. Does this take us up into another cell? No, is this the top of the structure? It is. And are those more vents into different parts of the cell blocks? Are there any others that are open or that can be opened? Oh, there's a door. Oh, is that where I came out? Yes. <laughs> so I suppose people would naturally run clockwise. Completely missing this until the very end. Ah, so those are the, the heavy duty maintainer suits. Diagram of the cell block. Are there, maybe that's how many cells there were in the whole building? Ladders. But what's this? Can I put my hand in it? Usually this is where you would apply another key. Oh, wrong way. I need to go on the outside. So this is how they're their prison worked. Ah, uh, this is a gorgeous view. All the vertical rocks and trees. The growls of the monsters far below. I don't really know if there's a puzzle here. I'm expecting one of these pillars to have a hand symbol or a book. Because we only need one more, and I think I was pretty thorough in my search. Oh uh, yes, there we go. That's it. We have we have all the hand symbols for Garrison. Maybe I should call it I was always used to calling it Garishan, but it's actually Gari Gari Sen. Garrison. Yeah, that's it. I I'm, I'm just going to look at that machine one last time. And then I suppose what we can do is we can get the totem from this world and bring it to our Relto and th then Teladon. Though I really want to go investigate that book in Teladon first. First and foremost. It really doesn't want to accept my key. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go back. Okay, Operation Return the Pillars is underway. This will take us up to the top of the tower. So I have to go all the way back to the bottom, find the elevator up, and jump from that crazy rock ledge that always gets me stuck inside it over to that well-hidden final door. Yeah, we need to find the elevator. I remember Garrison was the first age that I'd really ever explored in this game. In part because I really wanted the maintainer suit. But I've had it for some time now. There we go. There's the elevator. Now... I can't recall if there's much more to the game after you complete this. After you return the pillars, I believe you get a final book. Where to? I don't know. So that's the great prison. It must so this is where they trained. This was the visitor center where people got their keys and maybe would visit prisoners. Prisoners were up here and then that was their their upper sanctum. Maybe where they linked people in and out and took them directly to their cells. There's the rock we needed to get to. And I'll walk off because I know that jumping will just lead me to, uh, to being stuck. <laughs> I just hope that my jumping is going to be true. What? No! This... This rock, it, it drives me nuts. So I walked onto it and then it, it flipped the camera around or it flipped the character around so that I just walked back onto the platform. I'm gonna have to do that again. Curse you. Now that I think about it, maybe finishing the base game will actually open things up for us to go into the two Denis and Path of the Shell expansions. That could be. It, it came out first. Maybe you need to complete this first. All right, we're getting ready for round two of Shell Struggles with the stone. I mean, <laughs> when they were writing about this world uh, and how an army could never invade it because they would have to traverse this one rock to get onto the next platform. Yeah, I mean, not to mention that it has, you know, foot-sucking powers and won't let you leave. Oh, no, no. Why did I jump? Why did I jump? Oh, I want it to be done. I want it to be... I, I want to... I want to return... Return the, the pillar. I'm so close to. Come on. Come on, glitchy rock. Okay, back in here. 
Please retrieve your key. Yes, I have a key. I haven't been able to use it yet, though, for much aside from taking photographs. I remember in the 2 Denis dis expansion, there's this huge thing where you're interacting with a machine called the Great Zero. We read about it in all those texts regarding the kings and how there's there's like secret points throughout the world that you have to find the coordinates for. Maybe maybe like those coordinates that Xandy gave. But I have to upgrade my key in order to get those functions. Which isn't happening anytime soon. I, I thought that machine up at the top of Greason would help. But it didn't. Alright, where is it? There it is. Oh no. Oh no, am I gonna make it? What? I... I didn't even jump that time. I just walked into it. <laughs> Please. If I wasn't half laughing at this, I would actually be crying. Because I it's it's like you're about to taste victory. It you're almost there. The you've collected all of the tapestries and everything, only to be foiled by, by a rock. A very glitchy rock that doesn't like to be uh, stepped on. I, I did think it was hilarious when I got stuck in it but was still standing, and how I got out by actually using the journey cloth tapestry to warp myself back up onto the main platform. Okay, so jumping doesn't work. Walking off into it doesn't work. Do I have to make sure I hit the lower part of it so that I'm not standing on the upper part? Because the upper part is what's super glitchy. And there's no way that I'm going to attempt jumping onto that one because that is a pain to get to. I I'd prefer to get to it from this. Okay. I'm... I'm gonna try this. No! No, 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 no. Ah. Ah, why? Why? Walking walking off of this platform worked. It it was the one thing that prevented me from falling into the rock, and now it it isn't it isn't working. Is this the fourth time that I've that I've had to do this? And the problem is, going through the rest of the age, there's there's no way I can touch the hand symbol on that rock without getting on the rock. And as far as I know, there's no way for me to go back through the structure. All the doors opening and closing. There's no way for me to get back through the structure. All right. If if there was another way for me to get down into the uh, to the final hand symbol, that would be great. Yeah, it's down there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go from this direction. I will wait for it to mostly pass and I'll try to get onto that part of the rock. No. What am I supposed to do? Am I, am I supposed to jump this time? Because beforehand, jumping would just send me through the rock. Maybe they should have redacted that part of their their journal and been like, actually, the rock is an illusion. It is a, 
It is a very fickle thing. It Half the time it functions as a solid surface, and for the rest of its existence, it serves to send potential visitors plummeting to near death. Uh, hopefully you have a relto on hand so that you don't uh, fall into the jungle where there are ravenous monsters that we've alluded to but never actually described in great detail. Uh, uh. There it is. It's coming up. At least the timing has been okay the last couple instances. Now, is it because I'm using the mouse? Maybe I'm going too fast. Maybe I need to walk off with just the arrow keys. Yeah, that sounds good. I will walk off with just the arrow key. What? It sent me back. I'm half this episode's probably just going to be me stepping on and off this platform. I mean, at least I didn't fall through the world. At least I didn't have to link all the way back and go up through the the initial fortress and run back to this edge, but and I can't get to it from there. Yeah, the oof. Sound like jaguars. I wish we actually saw more of the creatures. Because there were those weird things in the garden that were clinging to the walls. And there were the flies and the flappers. We never actually got to see a shroomy. Now, from what I remember, the times where I tried jumping, it wasn't working. So I, I was able to successfully walk onto this. But lately, the second platform hasn't been functioning. I mean, I could try jumping on this one, but it's a long shot as to whether or not I'll actually succeed in making it. And I was so close, so close yet so far. I wish there was a way for me to get back into the inner building, but unfortunately because of those hand symbols, I'm stuck with doing this again and again and again. I really wish that instead of choosing like what hand symbol it was, they maybe had them, I, I don't want to necessarily say rainbow colored, but you have tapestry number one, tapestry number two, tapestry number three, tapestry number four, five, six, seven. And then you get to choose the one that you go back to. Because I understand that there's this sense of permanency, you know, choose, choose the hand symbol wisely so that you can return to only a particular location. But in this instance, if I had the hand symbol to that platform, I wouldn't have to fall through the world again and again. That last time, though, it was probably on me. I don't know if it would have allowed me to successfully jump to that rock. I was just a tad short, but I've never actually, I've, I've always jumped to that rock from, from the main rock, but the main rock has been making me fall and come back on this so many times, I'm just afraid to use it. But I don't know if even with a running start, I'll be able to get onto this other rock, though I was extremely close. I was, yeah, it, that was at top speed. There's, it's just going to make me too short. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to go on the big rock. It's so odd because the first time I came through this age, yeah, it, it tripped me up maybe three times, but this has been consecutively, regardless of whether or not I jump, or walk, or use the mouse, or use the keys. Because 
before it was the jumping was the issue. Jumping sent me through the rock. Then I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll walk. And because the platform extends over the, the rock, then I was able to just lightly step onto the rock. But when I've used the mouse, I still fall through the world. And when I use the keys, I sort of loop back on. And I'm pretty sure that if I do even a little jump, I'm going to end up right back where I started. Well, falling through. Maybe I'm gonna get to the edge. And I'm gonna try to time it so I get on this part. Or... It's gonna be tough. See, I came back. This is a glitch. It's just a huge glitch. Now, that little rock is just straight down. I wonder if I align it, if I could just drop onto that rock. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? I... I walked backwards and it sent me back onto the platform. I, I thought that I would have reltoed out and then I'd have to do this all over again, but... As low as I'm at, as low as loathe, as loathe as I am to say it, maybe I have to just go back to Teladon and do all of that, and then try to come back to this. Maybe it's just this instance of the game. Maybe once I reload it and come back, everything will be fine. I mean, there is that rock, actually. If I just walk, no, if I walk off the edge, I would, I'd fall off completely. Please. No. I thought that jumping would be a much better option for me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try it one more time. I'll try it one more time. And if I continue falling through the world, maybe I'll have to finish up Teladon, come back to Greeson, and hope that when I turn on the game again, it's not going to read that surface as a glitch. Because at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if I've spent an entire episode's worth going up and down, up and down this elevator, jumping, being repelled, falling through the rock again and again and again. And at this point, I've tried all my options. Unfortunately, there's no other books or journey cloths that I can use that will bring me back. And running doesn't work. Stepping off doesn't work. That's it. That's it. I can't do that again. Well, I'll go back here. I'm sorry if I sound pretty defeated, it's just... What can you do when the game is glitching? Oh. 
What was that? Was that the... That was probably the secret chamber. Oh, wait. I... I really want to get back into that puzzle room area. Which means I have to reset it. If I want to get inside that new book, I need to reset the puzzle. Oddly enough, it looks to be sunset around here. I thought that sunset wasn't possible. Well, the world is perpetually in twilight. So it makes sense. I wonder if these will actually bring Shermie back. I just hear bugs. Okay. I'll reset the puzzle. I will link back and then make my way back here to get to that new book. So I think I need to do down... I think it was up down, up, down, up, up, or something. There we go. So that is open. I'll link back. See where that book leads, and then finish Teledon. 